and welcome to the Personal Protective Equipment training video. Based on the current available evidence, we know that COVID-19 virus is transmitted through droplet and contact transmission. Droplet transmission occurs when a person is in close contact with someone who has respiratory symptoms. Droplet transmission may also occur through the contaminated environment around the infected person. It can occur through indirect contact when an individual touches a contaminated surface and then their face. The people most at risk of infection are those who are in close contact with a COVID patient or healthcare workers who care for COVID patients. And therefore, we made this video to demonstrate how you can best protect yourself as a healthcare worker when coming into contact with these patients. To begin, ensure you remove all jewelry and personal items and that your hair is tied back if applicable. Make sure you consider the risk involved in the care you are going to provide to the patient to ensure you are using the appropriate PPE for the precautions needed. Step one is to perform hand hygiene. You can clean your hands by rubbing them with an alcohol-based solution. It is the fastest and most effective method and better tolerated by your skin than other methods. Follow the WHO technique that ensures all the surfaces of the hands are carefully covered by the product and will eliminate the microorganisms on your hands. Follow the following steps. One, apply the product into a cupped hand. Next, Rub the hands together, rubbing palm to palm. Rub the back of each hand with interlaced fingers, and then palm to palm with interlaced fingers. Next, rotate the hands in a cupped shape, and then rub your hands rotationally. The final step is to rub the tips of your fingers and nail beds in each palm, and continue rubbing until hands are completely dry. Congratulations, now your hands are clean and safe to proceed with the PPE. So now that you're ready to put on the equipment, check the integrity of the equipment and do not use any damaged equipment. Now you're ready to put on the gown. So tie back the long hair if applicable and inspect the equipment for damage prior to putting on each piece. Put on your gown, tie it around the neck and the waist and secure it around the back. Ensure all clothing is covered by the gown. If you are performing an aerosol generating procedure or you need to follow airborne precautions, you can put on an N95, FFP2 or FFP3 mask instead of the medical mask. To place the mask on, lift your chin and pull the bottom strap over your head and position it around the back of your neck below the ears. Pull the top strap over your head resting it high at the back of your head. Ensure the straps are not overlapping or crossed. Place fingertips of both hands at the top of the metal nose piece. Mold the nose piece using two fingers on each hand to the shape of your nose, applying pressure on the sides of the nose to ensure a good seal. You can perform a seal check by placing your hands at the top and sides of your face without touching the mask and exhaling sharply. There should be no air escaping from the sides of the mask. This would indicate a positive pressure inside the respirator. If there is leakage of air, adjust the position or the straps and retest the seal. Repeat these steps until the respirator is sealed properly. Next, you are ready to put on the eye protection. This involves either goggles or a face shield which can be placed over the mask with the top of the shield resting in the middle of your forehead. Finally, put on a pair of gloves and ensure they are placed over the cuff of the gown and that no skin is exposed. You must check each piece of equipment at the end thoroughly and ensure the equipment is placed on correctly. It might be helpful to have a colleague who is competent in this procedure and could perform a visual inspection. You are now ready to enter the patient's room. You are now ready to remove your PPE. Keep in mind the removal of the PPE poses the highest risk of transmission to healthcare workers. Make sure to avoid any contact between potentially contaminated PPE and the clothes, skin, and especially your face. Respect the order indicated in front of a colleague or mirror if possible. 
The first step is to remove the gloves using the glove to glove and skin to skin technique. This is the most soiled item which needs to be removed first and discarded safely. Next, remove the gown by undoing the ties and ensure the gown is pulled away from the body, ensuring there is no contamination of your clothes or the environment. Turn the gown inside out and dispose of safely in the garbage or laundry hamper. Next, perform hand hygiene with alcohol-based hand rub for 20 seconds before touching your face to remove the eye protection. Next, remove the eye protection. You can do this by leaning forward and pulling them away from your face. Ensure you clean the goggles or the face shield if they are reusable and place them in a clean container. Next, remove the mask or respirator by pulling it from the straps in the rear and disposing of it in a disposal container or garbage. Avoid touching the mask. Now, as a final step, Perform your final hand hygiene with alcohol-based hand rub or with soap and water if they are visibly soiled. Now you are ready to return to the rest of the healthcare environment with clean hands.